Certainly, thanks indeed for keeping it Citizen TV. Even as we wind up the English edition of Citizen Extra, Swale Mdoe will be up next with the Kiswahili edition. But before that, Brian Okoth on standby with the latest from uh, alternative media, social media, if you like to call it, Brian. Give us the latest. All right, a very good morning to you. Uh, hey, good morning. Morning, I was morning. actually tempted to say, what's up, Higgs? But I remember you have, <laughs> you have such a positive outlook in terms to, to your brand. It's uh, very formal. So... <laughs> What's up, Higgs? Won't apply to you. Good morning, and let's just take a look at some <laughs> of the trends that we do have for you. Police in Mombasa arrested three people, two Ugandan men and a Kenyan woman, for attempting to defraud Bamburi residents by claiming they performed rituals to supernaturally locate two men who had allegedly stolen a saloon car. In a shocking incident yesterday, two suspected thieves stripped naked, sang and danced with residents speculating that the two had been bewitched by the owner of the stolen car. It now emerges that two Ugandan men who claimed to be the witch doctors who had cast a spell on the suspected thieves and Catherine Omok, a Kenyan woman who claimed to be the owner of the car, choreographed the act alongside the suspected thieves so that they could use the buzz created out of the incident to advertise the witchcraft services. And it's one of the stories that actually most people talked about it online on radio, on TV platforms, with a lot of people actually saying that uh, they were doubting the authenticity of such a video because uh, the guys were too willing. And again, it now imagines that it was all choreographed, stage managed, so that uh, the witch doctors could actually advertise their witchcraft services. Well, Higamura, the, you are actually holding a business talk uh, before I came on board, and the, mo the levels of desperation, how dire, how dire. It, it is uh, the end. What is it? The end justifies the means. As long as you get the money, doesn't matter how you get it. I think that's the situation. I watched that video yesterday, yeah. and honestly, if it was stage managed, I don't know how much you would pay someone to walk around uh, naked. Well, and I don't know how much you would agree to be paid to carry out such an act. I, I, I don't think there's an amount of amount, <laughs> um, amount of money I can put on myself just to strip. Oh, completely down and decide to dance in the mud and put and a snake clear, on your neck put a snake around my neck and uh, in, in the name of trying to make some other person popular that was just so 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 extreme strange carry on all right i'm moving on to another story kaimo of the z team fame has featured collins majale aka kolo in a new dance jam called uh, kanashika the song is one hour old on youtube as we speak and it is gaining a lot of fraction on social media because of its danceable beats and humorous li lyrics, let us listen in to the song. Alright, uh, that is uh, Kaimo of the Kaimo and Stiga duo of the Zitima fame featuring Collins Majale in the song known as Kanashika. It's just one hour old on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and check it out. And moving on to another story, real legendary wrestler that is Ric Flair has told his fans that he is far from being down for the count after a recent unspecified illness and mysterious hospitalization. In a video posted to Twitter, the 68-year-old Flair assures his fans that he is back up and running. Early last week, Flair's daughter, Charlotte, Flair admitted that her father was facing a long road in his recovery. Flair's fiancé had said the wrestler had multiple organ problems. Let us watch Flair's assurance of a good health to his fans. Hey, to all my fans out there, let it be known worldwide that Nature Boy, woo, is back up and running. Look as old as I can look. I want to tell all my fans out there, thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you in a very, 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 very near future. Woo! Uh, that is Mr. Nature Boy, Rick Flair, right there. Why well, more I'm tempted to ask? Did you watch wrestling? And what is your take on Rick Flair as a wrestler? Uh, I used to watch when I was younger. Um, my take, I reserve my comments <laughs> for now. <laughs> All right. Uh, Why well, does not want us to know that other side of him. But again, okay, he reserves his comment for now. He has a right to. And moving on to another story, Forbes ranks Senegalese American rapper Akon as the wealthiest musician in Africa, though no exact figure on his wealth has been given. Akon has over 35 million albums sold worldwide. Akon was listed by the Guinness Book of World Records 
as the number one selling artist for master ringtones in the world. Second position goes to South Africa DJ Black Coffee, Nigeria's Don Jazzy comes at position four with Jidena at position six, Nigeria's Wiz Kid at position seven, Davido's David at position eight, Ghana's Sakodi at position nine. And Zimbabwe's Oliver Mtukuzi wraps up top 10 most bankable artists in Africa. Interestingly, no Kenyan musician featured in the list. Um, just, I'm just tempted to uh, know how Kwaze is faring because some time back I held an exclusive interview with her manager. And the manager, that is Nelson Oyugi, told me Kwaze is worth 6.2, wait for it, billion Kenyan shillings. And she's not featuring in the top 10. So I really want to know where is her position in this list of top uh, bankable artists in Africa? I can see Waiga Mora actually having a laugh. Waiga, talk to me. <laughs> uh, do you prove those facts? I actually said we could not independently verify because we cannot actually have access to uh, Akode's account. But uh, some time back, a lot was said around a particular bar she held that it cost 300 million Kenyan shillings. And when I went down to inquire, and Nelson Oyugi told me that was so little money to Akode, 300 million bob is just so little. And when I went ahead to inquire then, what is Akode's worth? He told me around 6.2 billion shillings. A lot of people did not believe that figure. My goodness. Okay, Bran, carry on. Hard to believe though. But All right. Oigo Mora says it's hard to believe. Okay. Be the judge. American rapper Rick Ross family, family just got a little bigger after he and Maudley, that is Brianna Camille, welcomed the first child together. Ross and Camille had a baby girl over the weekend. Although no name has been reported, the child becomes Rick Ross's second daughter. It is uncertain what Rose, as he calls himself, relationship with Camille is currently, but the rapper has been linked to Liz Hagelton, an executive at Twitter. In May, rumor surfaced the two were engaged after dating for only two months. Neither Rose nor Hagelton have confirmed their reports right there. Congratulations to Mr. BMF blowing money fast right there, Rick Rose. Congratulations on your second child and also to your girlfriend, that is Brianna Camille. All right, and high flying Nigerian musician Techno Miles will touch down at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport at 8 p.m. Today we have exclusively lunch. Techno will headline a concert at the Gong Race Course this Saturday. The event is sponsored by Citizen Television and Hot 96 FM. Techno will be on will be a guest on Citizen TV's 10 over 10 show tomorrow 10 p.m. and Hot 96 FM breakfast show with Jeff Koenange and Mzeja Lango. Book a date and let us listen in to a mashup of two of his big Biggest hits, Rara and Wash. Oh, oh okay. That is techno. Uh, the song is known as Rara, and there is another big one known as Wash. Uh, there is also uh, another one known as Pana. So, book a day tomorrow, 10 p.m. on 10 over 10, and also in the morning with uh, Jeff Koenange and Jose Jalango. Techno will be performing at the Ngong Race Course on Saturday in an event sponsored exclusively by Citizen Television and Hard 96 FM. And that story about Techno Miles brings me to the end of Friends and Entertainment segment. For more entertainment news, log on to www.edaily.co.ke and you'll get your freshest scoop right there. Follow me at Red Brand of course on Twitter and let's continue the conversation right there. But before then, let me hand you back to Wahiga Moura, whom we call Higgs internally. Higgs, take it away. Thank you so much, Brian. At the real Brian, of course, Asante Sala for bringing us today's trends. That's how, we, that's how we wrap up Citizen Extra, the English edition, but do not go anywhere because on the other side of the break, Swalem Doi will bring you the Kiswahili edition. He's already in studio oh, oh. and he looks at, he's <laughs> shouting something which we can't hear because his mic is not on, but I can assure you Swalem Doi is all charged up and ready to bring you the latest on the Kiswahili edition of Citizen Extra up next. <laughs>